and welcome back to another video on my channel and today we are back with more Black Widow and here we are with Angel, the boy twin. I, like I said in the last video, we're going to go back and forth between the twins because they are split up from the household because his sister doesn't like the fact that he killed their mother and he doesn't have a soul anymore so he doesn't really care. As you can tell, he's in the garden. He found a way in, even though it's only for magical creatures, even technically he is magical, even though he's a reaper. Reapers, I feel like, can go anywhere, even in a magical graveyard where his mother is laying. So the reason why he's in here is because he saw his sister over here last time. We, uh, we came over here to sneak into the garden to grab our mom's urn, her mom's urn, and then leave but sadly she couldn't grab the urn because it wouldn't let her because of the spell that her mom puts on here that once a stone is in here no one could grab it unless they live in the household so he is the one that lives in the household and he is the only one that could put the urn in his in his inventory so he saw his sister yesterday trying to grab the urn, so I think that he's going to put the urn in his inventory and give it to him, to her. Now, he doesn't feel any way towards this, he's just like, you know what, if she wants it, she can have it, I don't really care much for it anyways. Okay, so here we are to give her her mom's urn back. Like I said, I don't think he feels any way towards it, he's just like, you know what, I saw you coming over to my house trying to grab mom's urn, so he brought it here. She's not here. She's not here, so I think he snuck into her house and it's just like, well, here you go. Here's mom's urn. And then he's going to just peace out. As you guys can tell, I changed outfits. It's because it's a new day. Yes, the when I recorded, started recording this, I was like, okay, I'm going to record, push through. Because I was tired, like I was super tired that day, but I'm like, oh, I need to record, so I'm going to just push through, do it, get it done, and then I just like, I was like, never mind, I'm not going to, I'm too tired. So there is his mom's soul, and he has his mom's wand, but technically he does not need it. He put the wand here, he could just sell it, but I don't think he, I'm going to have him do that. We're going to invite over Alexander, the guy that he met when he was younger. Lampy Ma. Here is Alexander, and the thing is, I was thinking that Alexander will be technically Angel's, I was about to say Sam for some reason, sorry, will be Angel's first kind of victim of his first husband. So we're going to... Even though he's got no soul and stuff like that, we still have to make him flirt and be friendly and all that stuff like that, even though he has, like, no soul and he can't really feel anything. Okay, okay, so we are back. Now those things should be allowed now, where we can have a baby when we're teenagers and be married when we're teenage eh, teenagers. And, sorry, and we, I have, there was a setting where guys can get pregnant, and I did put that on. I was like, oh, let's talk some more, but then I'm like, I don't know. So I clicked on uh, the whole risky hookup in bed. I don't know who's going to get pregnant. I, I know males can get pregnant. I don't know who's going to get pregnant. Is it him? Is it going to be Angel, or is it going to be Alexander? I don't know. We're already going to have a baby. What the? <laughs> I don't know. Like, I feel like Angel is kind of like the reckless one. He doesn't care that he's in high school. He's not going to do any of his homework because he doesn't care enough to do it. He's going to be really reckless and try for, like, hook up in bed with a guy and maybe end up pregnant. I don't know if he's going to end up pregnant or if, if uh... Alexander's gonna end up pregnant. But I know we have to move fast, especially if I don't want to kill a whole bunch of different people because I have to keep this life essence full. Okay, so I had them go outside to be so Sam Angel 
can push him on the swings. Uh, I love this. It's so this. cute. I love this. This is so cute. <laughs> it sucks that Angel can't feel anything, because this would be super oh. cute. It still is cute, even though if Angel can't feel anything. He doesn't literally care, and it sucks. <laughs> but I like the aspect of him not caring as well. It makes it kind of interesting. So, we travel to this area for our little date, even though technically we're not on a date because for some reason it wasn't working. Probably because of them being teenagers, but I don't know. So, we came here and it's raining. How lovely is that? <gasps> Alexander is pregnant. Oh my god, we already have our first baby on the way. Alexander is pregnant. I'm so excited. Yes. Oh my god. I thought it was Angel at first because he was thinking about nappies like he is. Or diapers. Or whatever you guys call it. And I was like, oh, he's pre he's the one that's going to be pregnant. Nope, Alexander is the one that's pregnant. He's like, oh, oh holding his stomach. And then he a diaper popped up. Let's get things. Hold on. Okay, so they did their first kiss, and he's pregnant. Jeez, everything's moving super fast. Okay, we're gonna ask me a boyfriend. Alright, so now they're dating, which is nice. Okay, so we're back, and as you can tell, Alexander is now in our household, and we have a lot of money. That is because Alexander has ran away from home and came to live with Angel because he is pregnant. I'm 100% sure he's pregnant. I'm 100% sure he's pregnant. So he's gonna come up, he's pregnant. So I'm gonna say that he took a pregnancy test there even though he's taking it here. We're gonna say he took a pregnancy test when he was at his house and he ran away to live with Angel and took all his parents' money while he did when he did it. Eating for two. He's pregnant, you guys. He's pregnant. We'll be having a witch baby. I think I'm gonna keep it that way. Alright, so here is the baby's room. All set. So they went off to school. I did the baby's room. It, I don't know the baby's gender, so I went kind of like yellowy colors because it's kind of like a neutral color. Oh, poor Alexander came home more. He is mortified. Stop looking at me from having a mood swing. Oh, no. Eating for two. Second trimester in nine hours. Poor Alexander. He is not having a good time. He is just not. I think even though Angel isn't all about school, I think Alexander would be a lot about school. He'll probably want to better educate himself just like that. So he would most likely do homework and whatnot. Alexander, he's a teenager, he's pregnant, he just has so much going on, I feel so bad for him. I didn't even know he had a job until now. Surprisingly, this uh, life essence isn't going down as fast as I thought it was going to. I thought it would be like halfway gone by now, but it doesn't seem like it's moving now that much. Which is good, because we seriously do not need it to go down fast. He doesn't really- he has like a little belly, but it doesn't like show very often- very much. And he's not get, doing that walk that they do. Alexander is a mess. Everything hurts from being pregnant. Feet, back, and stomach hurts. Oh, morning sickness. Alexander woke up feeling violently ill, as if something was pushing his insides all around. Oh, poor Alexander. I feel so bad for him. Okay, I'm gonna have Alexander take family leave. I don't know if that means that he can't- he doesn't have to go to school and work. If that's the case, that's good because, like, he- I think he needs- yeah, he's in his third trimester. So he's gonna give birth at any moment now. So Angel came home from school early because he- just didn't feel like being in school. So he's home now, so they are gonna come and woohoo because he is super flirty. Super freaking flirty. Oh yeah, I love his outfit. It's so cute. And like, he he's supposedly pregnant, but he has like a stomach. You could tell he is pregnant, but like, he doesn't look pregnant at the same time. Anyways, so I think this would be kind of a cute place for him to propose to, even though it's the graveyard at, in the back of his house.
Oh, he said yes, yes. In his third trimester, about to pop out a baby, and he proposes to him. I love that. Okay, so I set up the wedding, and Alexander just went into labor. Fun, Angel, you don't want to miss the baby being born. Okay, here we go. I'm so excited, you guys. I don't know what to call the baby. I think Faith, but I don't know. The baby's name is going to be Lilith. I love that name so much, so... Welcome to the world, baby Lilith. Oh my god, I love it. But yay, we got baby Lilith. Ah! Oh, I'm so excited! Oh, we got the baby, you guys. We got a baby. So, we got baby Lilith, you guys. How cute is that? Oh my gosh. Because Angel doesn't really feel anything, I will most likely have Alexander taking care of Faith. And because Angel feels nothing, he I don't think he's going to have an attachment to his own daughter, which is sad because he has no emotion, he has no soul. So he wouldn't, he, he'll probably like take care, like come and be part of her life, maybe feed her once in a while, change her diaper once in a while, but he will try to not be like a big part of Faith's life. Alexander is going to be the one that's going to be taking care of Faith more then angel for sure and then we're gonna get these two married um in not this video but the video after adriana and then i think after because we already have a baby and they are gonna get married i think we'll be married for a whole video and then we'll most likely kill alexandra alexander Sadly, because he's so cute, and I, I really like him, and I don't want to kill him, but I most likely will have to, sadly. Oh, look at him. He's such a precious boy. Why do I have to kill him? <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to leave this video here, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Ring that bell if you want to see more videos from me. Subscribe if you want to. And I'll see all you beautiful night wolves in the next video. Goodbye! Love is all we'll ever trust